we have two parallel glass plates and they are separated with a distance h we have a water drop inside of a given mass we need to find the attraction force between the two plates so first things first the meniscus is going to look like this because it's a water surface so if it were mercury like we saw in the previous problem meniscus will be the other way around so in the previous case the mercury was cap capable of pushing the plates but here the water will be actually attracting the plates and why is that that is because because of the nature of the meniscus so the meniscus is like this inside pressure is going to be less than the outside pressure so if the uh, the excess pressure inside is negative the plates will be pulled together and in case of mercury when the meniscus was the other way around so it was bulging out like a tablet in that case inside pressure was more than the outside pressure so that excess pressure was pushing the plates so here because of the meniscus the plates will be attracted to each other so let's find what will be the attraction force so our first equation is for the calculation of excess pressure which is inside so once we do that we can find the area of this plate and that area multiplied by that excess pressure excess pressure will be the force of attraction so let's do our problem so delta p we have seen in this equation is s by r plus s by r1 plus s by r2 so r1 here is r and r2 here so i mean uh, forget about terminologies basically we, we need two radius it is s by r1 plus s by r2 where uh, they are the radius of two radius of curvature of the surfaces perpendicular perpendicular radius of curvatures to the surface so one is r1 and because that is outside we have to take it as minus so it is minus r1 so this becomes minus s by r1 and this r is positive so it's going to be s by plus r so this gives delta p inside is minus s by r1 so this negative sign means force is attractive because delta p is negative now second equation just like in the previous problem so cos theta is equal to sorry so this is the contact surface this is theta so this is also theta so cos theta will be h by 2 upon r1 so from here we will get the value of r1 because r1 is not given to us third equation is to find r because r is also not given to us so that will find because the mass of the water is given and height is given so volume into density is equal to mass h is known to us m is known to us rho is known to us so we get the value of r so from these three equations we can put the value of r1 here and we'll get the value of excess pressure so our required attraction force is delta p into a area is the top surface so area of the plate which is in touch with water so that is obviously pi r square delta p is s by r1 and area is pi r square so we put the value of r1 here that is h by 2 by cos theta and put the value of r from here to here which will be this yeah and we get the required attraction force all right 